want me to drive off my car with no ID, you know, they just want to have to look at it. Guys, give me some cuts. What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Time so me showing you guys Tremaine Emery, Denim Tears. Alright guys, now these sweatsuits dropped a little bit earlier in the month, the beginning of the month. Now, when these came out, I didn't want to go to New York, I already knew how it was going to get. It was 10 times worse than Chicago ones, if you guys watched my video on that when I was outside getting shoes. But, um, New York just doesn't play when hype items come out. Now, this is one of the hottest pieces of the summer, hottest pieces of the year honestly guys and um they dropped this in new york a specific cleaner in new york now with that being said i don't know his relation to that cleaner but if anybody knows that information make sure you put it in the comments down below we'll love to all learn about something but um i couldn't find no information on that but he's also the face of supreme right now i think he got that role in 2022 if i'm not mistaken so um this is just something i've always wanted to cop now with that being said it didn't come in any special packaging you guys seen when you know it was going around the rack in the actual cleaners it just came in like some regular packaging now with that being said the prices on these are about 200 bucks so the sweatpants i think was like 170 with tax it came out to like 177 or something like that so you got some screenshots and everything like that but um since that event got shut down it was just so many items and pieces online that i didn't even know he dropped i guess i just missed it when they posted that it was going to be online now and honestly i would have got every colorway for you guys to review but i said you know what i got to get this and review it for you guys but let me give you a little bit of background story about Tremaine Emery and how he came up with this. So from interviews that I've seen and, you know, heard him talking, so a lot of people don't know what this is actually on the hoodie, sweatpants and shorts. And it is a cotton wreath. And basically he explained in some interviews on how black people and his grandma used to pick cotton and how it started the American dream. You know what I mean? It basically made money. It basically started everything and how we helped build this American dream in America that you guys see today and uh, how he just didn't want to get away from his roots. And basically everything that he does drop, you know, from the Denim Tears line has a background story. If you guys don't know about the Tyson Beffert sweater, um, everything guys. So, you know, it's just really dope to have a piece of history because he's actually, you know, sharing what goes on in his life and hitting on clothes and making the culture inspired to wear it if you know what i mean and it's dope man it's dope it's really really dope when you guys look at these pieces the quality is very very nice heavy um when you guys put your hands on this material the cotton reef you can feel that it is really nice material like you know this ain't gonna just mess up once you wash it so um with that being said make sure you guys wash these in the cleaners you know what i mean i say that for my essential videos as well when you guys are washing your pieces you don't want to get them messed up if you want them to look as perfect as possible to normal make sure you guys put them in the cleaners all right so this is what they look like i got a size small in the sweatpants a size small in the sweat shorts and a size medium in the sweat top okay so with that being said you know i'm gonna try all these on for you guys and let you know how they fit in my opinion they kind of fit like essentials just a little bit tighter but i'm going to show you guys right now okay guys that's what the denim tear shorts look like in a size small now i'm about 5'9 to 5'10 160 pounds and i'm gonna show you guys some up close details right here and as you guys can see these fit a little bit bigger than essentials if you guys are looking at them side by side right now you can see that these are a lot bigger and they're a lot wider on the leg so in my opinion go down a size from the original size on sweat shorts so once again, this is a size small on me. If you are a little bit heavier in the waist or have a little bit bigger of a lower body area, as you guys can see when I'm scrunching these pants away from me, they have a lot of space in here. So it's similar to the essentials pants. So if you guys have essential pants, go similar to that sizing in my opinion, because these run a little bit bigger. Now looking at the front here, we see the cotton reef on the front. All right, they're very comfortable, um, kind of heavy. Um, I wouldn't say that, you know, you want to wear these on a hot day, <laughs> in my opinion, but these are really, really nice. Probably like a day like today. It's still not juning outside. It's about 75, 80. This will be a perfect day to wear these. So I'm going to turn to the side and show you guys what they look like right here. Let me know what you guys think. Is this one of your favorite colorways? Should it be gray? You guys think the blue or the red better, but this is what it looks like on me. Even if you guys look in the back side right here, you can see like it kind of fits my butt, but not as good. You know what I mean? Like it, it seems like I can go down to like an extra small on these. But in my opinion, this is a small, so, you know, 
If you want a little bit of a better fit, you'll probably have to go with the extra small. I'm not even sure if they have extra small, honestly. But if you guys would like a better fit than this, try to go with the extra small if they do have that possible. But this is what the shorts look like right here. You can't see my knee really at all. It's kind of like some early 2000s type of look, but they are pretty clean in my opinion. And I'm gonna roll it up one time and show you guys what they look like rolled up one time. And it's still just over my knee. It still doesn't show my teardrops or anything like that. So just in case you guys were wondering, it does have like a rip, and it does have like a rip effect at the bottom right here that you guys can see. But other than that, they are pretty funny though. You know what I mean? If you're not the type of like coochie daddy shorts, this is definitely for you. All right, guys. Now, once again, I have one pair of shorts, one pair of the hoodie, and one pair of the sweatpants. So basically, it is one piece of each thing that has dropped, but I just don't have it in every colorway. So I do have this matching set, even though I don't have the matching sweatpants to go with this. But this hoodie top is in a size medium. So in my opinion, when you guys are getting a hoodie, I would suggest you to size up on the hoodie because I feel like it runs a little bit small. This is a size medium on me and it fits me like a small. I would like it to be a little bit bigger in the arm area. I should have got the large, but I couldn't find it in the large. I had to get it in the medium to show you guys. But just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Put the hood up for you guys to show you. This is a clean fit though, man. This is really, really nice. Uh, the quality is there. It's heavy. It feels very nice and warm. So you know what I mean? For the winter time, this is gonna be perfect. I mean, uh, and a rainy day like today, it's gonna be perfect for you, but this is what the hoodie looks like on me. I'm gonna compare this hoodie with the essential hoodie right here. And as you guys can see, that hoodie is in a size small and it kind of fits similar, but I feel like with this one, as you guys can see, it's a little bit young on me, you know what I mean? So if I bend down right here and put my arms up, you know, it starts to come back and that's how you, one way to know that a hoodie is too small. Uh, same thing, like if I go here, it starts to like come back past my wrist. But other than that, you know, this is a good size. If you want something true to size and you feel like you don't want to grow into a hoodie or, you know, want to have something that you know you have to grow into this is a perfect fitting size but for somebody that wants a little bit of extra space go up one size from your original size or go true to size and this is what it's going to look like on you all right so i'm gonna show you guys one more time turn around show you guys what it looks like i think it's pretty clean though once again i wish i would have got a larger than this is a size medium i'm about five nine five ten 160 pounds go up one size from your original size and hoodies unless you wanted to fit true to size which is this is true to size and this is a size medium and it fits me like kind of like a medium but a little bit on the small side this is my favorite piece from the denim tears the sweatpants i like these sweatpants a lot my favorite piece but anyway only was able to get them in gray now this is a size small dang i should have asked you guys what size you guys think this is first but anyway this is a size small on me kind of similar to the extensions fit once again these fit really well around my waist and my back side i'm gonna turn around and show you guys what i'm talking about here so as you guys see the pants really fit me in the back and they have just enough space. And I like the stack on the bottom of these, as you guys can see, all the way at the bottom of the shoe, all right? So this is what they look like on me. I'm about 5'9 to 5'10, 160 pounds. I'm like a 30 in the waist. When it starts to get to the summer, I can get down to like a 28 in the waist, but this is what it looks like on me. Now, when I pull the pants away from me, I have a lot of space in here. Um, if you don't want the pants to stick to your body, like how it's kind of sticking to me, you can go up to the medium. In my opinion, once again, it fits like the essentials, but if you guys know the newer essential sweatpants, how they run a little bit bigger than the older ones, it kind of fits like the older ones, if you know what I mean. Because the newer ones are a lot baggier. Uh, the fit is a lot baggier than the newer um, essential line. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you guys know what I'm talking about. But in the older core collection and the older, you know, essential drops, this is how they fit. So you guys go check out those videos so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But these fit like the older essential sweatpants. Um, put my hands in the pockets here. It is a good amount of space to fit your hands in the pockets. I like these a lot, man. Um, what do you guys think about these? A copper drop for you guys. Turn around, show you guys once again. This is pretty much it. And I'm gonna throw the hoodie on top of this to show you guys as well. Once again, I don't have the matching colors set. I wish I did. But the sweatpants, once again, is in a size small and the sweat top is in a size medium. Now, once again, I'm gonna show you guys a clip right here, me in an essential hoodie and a size small. And you guys can see how this one fits like that one, but this is in a size medium. So if you want your true to size, go true to size. It will look like this, kind of tailored. If you want something a little bit bigger, go up one size from your original size. All right, so with that being said, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna turn around for you guys and show you guys what I'm talking about. Same thing with the sweatpants. This is a size small. These fit like the older essential sweatpants once again, not the newer models. But this is what it looks like. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.